One company says that leaks of data are inevitable. No matter what, there simply is no way to keep everything you want secure, safe, and sound. But don't worry, Vera has a plan. Their plan is to attach a layer on top of existing information, sharing services like Dropbox and Google Drive, and add a feature to each piece of data so it shuts down when compromised. Joining us to discuss is Ajay Aurora of the firm. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So how does this work? I'm, you know, you're going to have to talk to someone who you know, isn't in the tech industry. Simple person. How does this work? It's uh, very simple. The way you can think about it is that so in today we're living in a world that basically doesn't have any more borders anymore. Um, enterprises don't have any more perimeter. So the idea, the only way to actually protect uh, your assets, your information, your data is in a world where you can't reinforce these walls that are rapidly crumbling is to take security and policy and actually attach it to the data itself. And when you do that and you allow the, the security policy to follow the data wherever it goes, uh, whether you send it through email, you send it through Dropbox, Box, all kinds of different uh, mechanisms, you put it on a USB stick and transfer it. The only way to be able to make sure that that data doesn't get compromised is to be able to uh, have that data phone home um, and the security be able to uh, be updated in real time so you can maintain control and visibility of that data because we have to assume that this data is now just going to leave the, the, the enterprise or leave your, your purview of control because there's just too many holes right now to be able to, um, to control in the enterprise. And, right. and then obviously that brings up one point, you know, this, this last summer, last fall, we had the Target breach, we had the right. Depot breach, we had some of the bank issues mm -hmm. and you looked at this and, and you saw this, this, uh, uh, this push in the securities industry to tell a lot of information. Oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. And it seems at this point a lot of people are giving uh, guidelines on what the fix is. Mm -hmm. Where are we now? Is, is there Are there fixes or we're still trying to learn and we're always going to be in this arms race of an issue and trying to and trying to put a cap on it? So I think I think you highlight a really important point. Right now what's going on is everything is kind of reactive and it's a it's a reflection of how people have been uh, dealing with security for years and years and the, the idea has been every time there's a hole let's react and try to plug that hole. So we have to shift from being much more of a reactive um, mode to being a proactive mode in this world because uh, I, they're, they're, the idea of just saying, okay, we'll, we'll find a hole, plug it up, and then just hope that things don't happen, that's gone. So there has to be the shift in the industry to say that, okay, we got to be much more proactive about this, uh, taking an approach to this and, and uh, securing things uh, uh, before a breach happens. So there is hope. Um, yeah. It's not going to continue. It's not going to snowball as long as people realize and the, the industry shifts to this mindset that let's not be reactive, let's be proactive in this approach. Now what if I'm a consumer, I do business through my bank or I you know, uh, shop for things online and on some sense I have this, this faith that as me a consumer, the company I'm doing business is going to protect me. Mm -hmm. Should I have that faith or do I need to go through other hoops to, to double my uh, ability to, to prevent some sort of, whether it's uh, identity theft or anything else? Yeah, so it's, it's uh, the, the responsibility and the job of people like me and our firm to make sure the consumer doesn't have to worry about that. So it, we have to innovate to the extent of saying that, okay, we're going to change the way that, the paradigm, the way things work, and we're going to implement this new form of security so consumers don't have to worry about it anymore. As long as long as, as long as industry, as long as software guys like me, as long as companies that uh, have that data take this new approach, secure data in a new way, consumers aren't going to have to worry. If, we, if they stick to the old paradigm, then it's going to be more of the same. Well, Snapchat for data. Thank That's you so right. much for Thank joining Thank you so us. much. I appreciate it.